Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Erin Hart. I'm a mom, a registered nurse, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and a health coach. My goal is to help you to transform your health permanently. Uh, I had a major transformation this year and recently lost 125 pounds by eating weighed meals without snacking in between and abstaining from flour and sugar. I eat an abundance of healthy, whole, real, unprocessed food, and I want to share what I've learned this year with you and to help you to find peace with your food and to find hope that you can achieve your health goals. Eating this way is an amazing, healthy, sustainable way to live, and it's really enriched my life. If you are interested in some coaching, send me a message. I offer free consultations to everyone. Today, I want to talk about some things that I've learned about changing your eating habits when you have a family and navigating caring for your own health when there are others in the home. First, I think that we all need to realize that the other members of our family probably don't have the same eating issues that we have. And even if they do, they may not be ready to change yet. That is okay. Keep your eyes on your own plate. Don't try to change everyone or force any restrictions on members of your family. It will be frustrating for everybody and probably won't be very effective. I actually asked Susan Pierce Thompson about this um, in a Facebook Live she did early on in my program when I was helping my siblings and family members who are also trying to become healthier. And the advice that she gave me was just to radically and absolutely keep your eyes on your own plate. She said, they are smart, they can figure it out on their, their own. Um, they don't need you to tell them how to do it or how they should do it differently. You know, she said to just focus on your own plate and let them do it for themselves. We can't transform anyone else. And if they wanna do the program with you, that's so great. You know, support each other, but each person needs to be able to stand on their own two feet when it comes to lifestyle transformation. The best way that you can help your family, whether they are children or adults, is to just focus on your own health and model healthy eating habits. It's too much to worry about changing your lifestyle and changing everyone else's too. As your loved ones see you transforming and enjoying all of the benefits that come with improving your health, they'll just naturally want to follow your example. I saw this with my family and extended family and friends. It's just so hard because when we are feeling so good and we feel like we've found the answer to all of our eating issues, we think it's for everyone and we wish that everyone would do it. But some people, number one, aren't ready to change yet and they may need some time. Number two, for others, this way of eating may not be the right answer for them. We all have different brains and what works for you may not work for them. And number three, we need to realize that some people we love may never change, and that's okay. We will still love them the same. It's their choice, and we don't have control over their eating habits. We only have control over what we eat. So keep your eyes on your own plate. Focus on your own program and your health. Model healthy eating and don't tell them, show them. But with young kids, there is some opportunity there to help them a little bit more. So I am married and a mom of three sweet little girls. And uh, when I started changing my eating habits, it was really a change for my whole family. I didn't and still don't put any restrictions on them, but I being the one who does all of the grocery shopping and most of the cooking in my house stopped buying junk food. And I started cooking a lot of healthy meals and eating a lot of veggies. My family has always been so supportive of this, especially my amazing husband. So I am so thankful for that. But my kids were starting to get introduced to new foods that they hadn't tried before. And they didn't always like what I cooked for them. Um, in my house, it's take it or leave it. And I tell my girls that they don't have to eat it, but there isn't anything else for dinner. I'm not gonna cook them a different dinner. I'm. Uh, not a short order cook. My tricks around this though are to make sure that there is something that they actually love on their plate. Um, I cook my meal for dinner during the weight loss phase that would consist of a protein source, veggies, and a fat. 
And then in, dish, in addition for the rest of my family, I would make a starch for them, like pasta, bread, rice, mashed potatoes, or something like that. That seemed to work really well. And I also make sure that they get a fruit at dinner. That way I'm not cooking two meals. And I'm also not restricting them from eating the whole grains and the fruit at dinner that they need and that they like. Uh, in the weight loss phase, I eat whole grains and fruit earlier in the day, but just not at dinner. So my kids know that after dinner, the kitchen is closed and there won't be anything until breakfast. So if they don't eat their dinner um, and they're hungry later, they know I'm not gonna make more food for them. So it gives them an incentive to eat with the family at the table. I also put a small amount of each thing on their plate. We call it a vegetable opportunity in my family. Um, no, my kids do not always eat their veggies, but I try and I keep putting them on their plate anyway. I make sure that they have something that they love on their plate, like fruit, and then if they want more, they can have as much as they want. They just need to smell, like, and taste the other things on the plate first. My kids are little. Um, my pediatrician recommended this. There is evidence that the more kids are exposed to a particular food, the more likely they are to end up liking it. And this has really helped them to get a taste for a variety of healthy foods. And for the most part, they aren't picky eaters. They still get lots of treats and junk food at school and friends and family's houses. I have mixed feelings about that, especially the school lunches. It's just so sad to me, like what they feed their kids, at, well, we feed our kids at school, but I don't restrict it or make a big deal of it. And I don't have a lot of control of what they choose to eat outside of the home. But what I try to do is have conversations about with them about how our bodies are so special and how they're a gift from God. And um, just the need that we have to make healthy choices to take care of our bodies. My pediatrician also told them that a treat is not a treat if you have it every day. So they still have plenty of treats when they're at home. And I try to offer them three meals a day and two snacks, cons consisting of a variety of healthy, whole, real, and processed foods. And we always eat at the table together. Last week for Halloween, I let them go crazy on treats for one day. And they chose to donate some candy to treats for troops. When, and then we put the rest of their treats in a Ziploc bag in the closet with their name on it. And they can have one or two pieces a day anytime that they want. Um, but usually they just forget about it and only ask for it every week or so. But they know it's there and they know that they can have it. I don't think that we should ever put our kids on a restrictive diet. And this method feels pretty good to me. It's so hard to feed kids. The grains and breads I give them are usually really good whole wheat varieties and they really love the sugar and flour free breakfast muffins, oatmeal and pancakes that I make. So um, just slowly throughout this past year, as I've consistently exposed them to healthy foods and offer them healthy things, they've grown to really like them. We have granola bars, applesauce packets, smoothies, and low sugar yogurts that they will eat as a treat and for convenience, even though I don't eat those things anymore. I think that it's just still really great for the kids. So as I said before, the best way for you to help your family and, and to change their eating habits is to model healthy eating for them. Teach them how to cook, help them, have them help you prep their veggies, prep the meals, get them touching and tasting. Um, show them the pretty food that you eat. Um, t talk up your food. Tell them how good it tastes. My baby is so funny. She's always eating off of my plate and um, it's great that she loves to steal my food. It tastes better when it's stolen, right? So whether, I always just offer it to them whether they choose to eat it or not. And I never force them to eat when they're not hungry. I always ask their tummies if they're hungry or full, <laughs> you know, to help them to learn those signals. Um, some days they eat a ton, some days they just eat tiny amounts. But your job is to just provide the healthy food and it's their job to eat it. So um, you just need to keep your eyes on your own plate. Don't And don't ever eat their leftover food. I have a friend who will even just throw it in the garbage and put dish soap on it <laughs> so she's not tempted to eat it. So your body is not a garbage can. Don't treat it that way. Um, that is not your food and you don't need it. 
it's just best to put it in the fridge for later or throw it away. Don't feel bad about that or have one ounce of guilt about it. Uh, your kids, your kids are watching you. They will mirror your attitude around healthy food and your body image. So be careful how you talk about your body in front of them. Don't talk about losing weight or anything like that. Have the verbiage in your home be focused on taking care of our bodies and eating healthy. Uh, teach your kids how to be healthy and then just step back and let them make their own choices. Consistency um, is so important and just provide them with the healthy foods. And just don't tell them, show them. It can be really challenging at times, um, changing your eating habits when you have a family, but just know that the best way to help your loved ones, whether they are adults or children, is to take care of yourself and to focus on your own health. Uh, they will see your good example and they'll want to follow just naturally in your footsteps. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook uh, and YouTube at Erin Hart Health Coaching. I post daily and I put out weekly videos. So send me a message if you want a free consultation. I offer private one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I just hope you have a great day. I will see you next week. Bye.